Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be taking a look at an A1466 that is liquid damage, it's not powering on. First thing I'm going to do before I get started is remove the coronavirus from this MacBook. Coronavirus has been removed. Alright, so what we're going to do with this MacBook is the same thing as we do with all the other MacBooks. See if it's powering. Oh, let's put 18 volts through this thing and see what happens. I unplugged the battery, plugged in the charger. Paul Daniels' the software is being funny again. It took 200 milliamps and then down to 20. And now it's stuck at 20, which means there's a rail shorted and PM Sleep S4L is likely going to be missing as a result of that. So let's take the board out of the machine. The reason I think a rail is shorted is because we have that little pulse in the beginning. It's not just 20 milliamps. It's taking 20 milliamps, 200, then back, to two, uh, then back to 20. That tells me that there's a short circuit and a rail is turning off very quickly. I see liquid damage on the DC inboard, although that would not be causing this. But it does indicate that liquid will be on the other section. Minor corrosion inside the DC in connector. I'm going to alcohol that out. PP bus, 8.6, SMC must be running. Three point three volts on PP V R T C G three hot. Five volts on PP five V S five. Three volts on PP three V S three. Zero volts on PP5 VS4. No, uh, no short to ground on PP5 VS4. Oh, it looks like I got an internal power for Paul. Hmm. Corrosion by pull-up resistor? Ooh, I think I see corrosion by a RTC pull-up resistor. Hello. Hello.
Aha! Biostress, SPICSO. So, SPI series bus termination. Here you have the BIOS chip called the SPI ROM if you're a pedantic fuck. This is the BIOS chip. And what this does is it's going to speak to the PCH, which is responsible for PM Sleep S5L, PM Sleep S4L, PM Sleep S3L, and so on and so forth. It's also for those signals that are going to enable all these rails going up. Now, I was wrong. I thought it was a short circuit. It actually is not a short circuit. What it is is the machine's going to pulse if the BIOS is not able to speak to the PCH. So if we scroll over here, I need this enable signal for my S4 rails to come on. P5VS4RS3EN. This is coming from P5VS4RS3EN. And if you follow that back on the, on the board view, you'll see that that goes over to here, which then goes over to PM Sleep S4L. PM Sleep S4L comes from the PCH. Right here. So it's, it's, that's what's wrong here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little bit of digging. Find that probe, expose it a little bit. I'm going to expose this trace like the internet exposed Matt Tran in Tech Lead. Look at how exposed this is. Okay, now once it's cleaned off, I mean, now once I've scraped away everything there, I'm going to clean it with some alcohol. Now someone had to have cleaned this before I got to it, because this would usually have corrosion on it, and it did not. Alright, so we clean it off with some alcohol. Okay, just get rid of the alcohol with some liquid, some uh, heat at flux because it's going to assist me in running and putting some solder there. I'll say solder for our Australian listeners. I know we have some Australian listeners in the chat today that pronounce the L and stuff. Now it's hard to solder something that tiny. So I'm gonna use hot air and allow the surface tension to flow that to place. Or anyone without a speech problem can pronounce an L. Says the dude who spells traditionalist, staditionalist. GTFO. You made up a word, mofo. So we do this, a little bit of hot air. And we flow that into place very nicely. Yes, yes.
That's not a word. There's nothing to pronounce, you mofo. You made that up. Now, once again, I would not have fluxed that resistor area with that questionable thing that barely was corrosion had I seen that earlier. But I didn't. So I did. And just to appease the perfectionist in me, I'm going to do something ridiculous here. Next time water gets on that, it's not going to damage it. Seven hundred milliamps. Another MacBook bites the dust. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. With that, go on to the next MacBook.